Hi friends, today we are going to see how to enable or disable hyperthreading on Itanium servers. To enable or disable the hyperthreads, we need to go to the EFI shell during system boot. In EFI shell, type the CPU config to display the current CPU configuration. In this case, it shows there are four CPUs active and the CPU threads are currently turned off. To enable the CPU threads or hyper threads, we need to give the command CPU config threads on. This will give a message that the threads will be enabled during next boot. To apply the changes, do a reset in the shell. Once the system comes up after reset, it will have the hyper threads enabled. After the reset, now we can see the CPU threads are enabled and there are currently 8 logical CPUs active. To disable the hyper threads, we need to run the command CPU config threads off. This will give the message that the threads will be disabled during next boot. To apply the changes, do a reset in the shell. Hyperthreads can also be enabled or disabled through the DCL terminal using the HT threads executable. First, we need to create a symbol pointing to the HT threads executable. We can then use this symbol, say H thread, and show what is the current status of the hyperthreads using the H thread show command. We can enable the hyperthreads using hthread on command and we can disable the hyperthreads using the hthread off command. Please note that the th hyperthreads won't be disabled or enabled dynamically. We need to reboot the system to, uh, for this to take effect. Thank you for watching this video.